the state Republican Party working to increase its numbers in the General Assembly on Election Day. And they're targeting Democratic incumbents that they think are vulnerable because of their support for Governor Malloy and those tax hikes and spending cuts. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us now live with a close look at a race for state rep where the Republican candidate is known statewide because he was a victim in one of the worst crimes in state history. Good evening, Mark. That's right. Good evening. Good evening, Ann. Good evening, Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Dr. William Pettit, name ring a bell? Dr. William Pettit is challenging a longtime Democratic state rep in the 22nd House of Representatives District. Now, this is the district that includes the town of Plainville and the southern part of the city of New Britain. It's one of the districts where the state Republican Party thinks they can get a win on November 8th and increase their numbers in the Connecticut House of Representatives. 73-year-old Democrat Betty Baucus has represented this district for the past 22 years, beating opponents for re-election 10 times. But this time she's facing a Republican opponent with nearly universal statewide name recognition, Dr. William Pettit, formerly of Cheshire a lone survivor of one of the most horrific crimes in state history that took the lives of his wife and two daughters. Some people offer their, uh, their condolences, even though it's nine years later, and talk about it for, uh, you know, 15, 30 seconds. People are usually uh, happy to see me and happy that I'm trying to do something positive and happy that I'm, uh, I'm out. Pettit, who is 60, has remarried and now has a young son and says he is drawn to political service because his father and several members of his family have been involved for years in Plainville. I think statewide it's time, time for a change. Uh, the Democrats have held sway in the House and Senate, I believe, you know, 38 out of 40 years. With campaign signs popping up on street corners like mushrooms, it's quite clear Bulkus is in a competitive race this time. Bulkus says she's a Democrat with a capital D but always tries to listen to both sides. I hate increasing taxes, but you know what? Things cost money. People want services. Recently, I just uh, secured money for the Plainville Food Pantry. We've been working on that for two and a half years. As chair of the subcommittee on bonding, Bocas has had a major role in both helping approve and most recently curtailing some of the state's borrowing. She says she is most proud of the projects and services she's been able to secure for her district. This is what I do. This is what I can do for you. Uh, this is the support that I can give my community, which I believe is everything they've ever asked me to do. Citing the continued huge deficit projections, Dr. Pettit is campaigning hard on an issue that often works against longtime incumbents, the need for change. The biggest issue faced in the state, states is, is money. I think at a minimum we need to put some bipartisan uh, governing so that we can make the changes that we need. For Bocas, the message to voters is you need someone who knows the ropes and knows the system to get the things from Hartford that the district needs. I cannot impress on you as someone who comes into my community how much I appreciate my community. It was just two years ago this month that Dr. Pettit ruled out the possibility of running for United States Congress in the 5th Congressional District. He had been living in Burlington, but recently moved into Plainville. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.